Still on Galamsey related stories, organized labor is set to meet and deliberate on their next steps regarding their planned protest and strike against the government over its failure to take a decisive decision on illegal mining. Channel One News' Jude Duncan sat down with the General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Thomas Musa, who emphasized that despite their meeting with the President, they remain committed to moving forward with their planned strike. Organized labor has reaffirmed its intention to proceed with protests and a strike action on October 10 in response to what they see as the government's failure to adequately address illegal and irresponsible mining activities. This decision follows a meeting between President Nane Kufuado and the leadership of organized labor during which the president requested more time to resolve the issue. In an interview with Channel One News, NAT General Secretary Thomas Musa made it clear that their demands have not changed and the strike will go ahead as planned. From that said meeting between organized labor and the president, we know that the president appealed to organized labor to give him some time in trying to find lasting solutions to the Ganamse menace um, the country is currently dealing with. What are your thoughts as an association around the president's call for? A little more time, some patience in, in finding solutions to the menace. Today's age is 10th, uh, today is 4th October. Yeah. The president is, we are having the elections on the 7th of December. So, what's the definition of that more time? So, these are questions that people will be asking. And the question is will the people die? Will death ask what will happen to them? What to happen to them? So, the issue, like I have said, it is for us to make a decision. We are between life and death. So, if I get you correctly, as things stand now, Nat is still opposed to. You are still calling on this. You still have the same demands. Things, mm. Organized labor, with all we all agreed on, mm. and that is what Nat is standing. Uh, we stand by it. Mm. Organized labor, we all agreed that number one, there should be a declaration of the state of emergency. That was a decision, or that is, not even what, that is the decision of organized labor. Mm. Number two, that is a state of emergency. Number two, that the LI mandating people to go to the forest reserve should, all, should be revoked. Mm. Not stands by it. And then the next question will be, so then as things stand now, you are still geared up for the December 10 strike and protest as organized labor now. Oh, sorry. October 10 um, protest and, and strike. That is a decision of organized labor. Mm. That is a decision of organized labor. Mm. So whatever, once not is a member of organized labor, we stand by those decisions. According to the Ghana National Association of Teachers, they are still resolute in their demands, calling on the president to find a lasting solution to the Galamse menace. Speaking to the general secretary of the association, Thomas Musa, he mentions to me that the October 10 deadline set for protest and a series of strike action still remains in place despite the president's meeting with organized labor. Reporting for Channel One News, my name is Jude Duncan.